Doc Jenny. Join us in the Green Hornet as we travel the back roads of beautiful North Idaho. Every day is different, challenging, and never boring as we see all the farm animals, big and small. Hi, this is Doc Jenny, and I am here with my friend Leah and her horse Scotty, and we're going to be talking today about a little bit of saddle fit. So Leia has been struggling with saddle fit with Scotty and has run into some problems. So we're going to try out a couple saddles today, see if we can figure out how to help him out. So Leia, if you want to tell us a little bit about the problems you've been having with Scotty's back and the saddles you've been trying. I first noticed uh, big dry spots and I was told that big dry spots were okay. It was small, that were a problem, so I didn't think much of it until the white hairs developed in what was one of the dry spots. Um, so I started switching saddles around then and uh, pretty much used everything from full car horse bars, semi car horse bars, wide, um, trying to play with angles and just haven't really found the right uh, combination yet. So it was these white patches pretty much that cued you off that you had a... The dry spots had me worried but it was when the white spots started to show up that I thought okay there's definitely a problem. And then did you notice any performance issues with this young guy? Um, nothing too crazy. There was a little bucking here and there, and so looking back, I think maybe there was some more signs that I didn't really see them. But. All right. Def especially with a young horse, if that saddle's pinching him or it's causing some discomfort, bucking is one of the things that can develop. So, um, Scotty is pretty young. He's uh, fairly green, just being six. So, we definitely want to get a saddle here that's going to help him to, um, for his back to mature and so that he can use his back properly as he grows. So, we're going to, uh, you can see right here, if you look, that we've got this dry spot but it has the white rony hairs. We have not yet had muscle atrophy on his back, so um, what can happen if, if Leia had not been um, uh, proactive about addressing this problem is that you can end up with muscle atrophy, and then this will actually sink in, and that causes all kinds of back problems. You can see Scotty's got a fairly long back. He's kind of weak through the loin here, so he's got a lot of rock to his back. As we get him, uh, more fit and able to use his back better, this should rise, which I can demonstrate hopefully by rubbing on his belly. You can see how he lifts across his entire top line. And that's the kind of back that we want to encourage. But if there's something pinching on him or pushing that back down, he's gonna move further and further away from that and that will increase the weakness through his back. So we wanna address that and make sure that as she gets him further into his training, that he's not running into those issues. So we're gonna throw some saddles up there and we'll take a look and see how they fit. So this is the first saddle that we've, we're trying out on Scotty. So I like to throw the saddles on here without a pad underneath, just to get a basic idea of how that saddle interacts with the horse's back and if there's any big red flags before we even put a pad on it. Um, obviously the saddle, all saddles are probably gonna fit a little bit better with some padding, but for this one, we just wanted to see how it lays on him. And so right away, we can see that this saddle has got a lot of rock on Scotty it's a little bit too wide, meaning that it's gonna fall over his shoulders and fall onto his withers. Now with some padding, we can definitely help that out, but because of the rocking that we have in this saddle, it's not fitting the curvature of his back very well either. So on this saddle, even with some padding, we've got quite a bit of tightness here because the way that the bars have fallen right over, instead of sitting in this nice hollow here, it's falling over the wide spot in the horse's back and that's gonna be causing more pressure. As we add padding, all that's gonna do is shift that back into that uh, sweet spot where the saddle should ride. We want those bars to have good connection with the horse all the way from the front to the back. And so this saddle, I would say, is a no-go. So I don't think we'll even throw a pad under this one. So this is saddle number two of the stack of saddles that we have to try on Scotty today. Um, again, we threw it up here without the pad on it. Uh, this happens to be a treeless saddle, uh, which means that it should be able to conform. The idea behind a treeless is that it's going to conform to whatever the horse's back is doing. Uh, and with some weight in it, that m may be true for this saddle. But I think you can see how this saddle is sitting completely uphill. Um, it's a mile over his withers, and the ends of the bars are up here at the top, almost at the top of his withers. So this saddle, um, I can't even get it in a spot where it's not going to create some bridging. If I slide it back a little bit, then we've got pressure right here and then right here at the edge of the bar too. So this saddle, um, I can't blame it on the bars because there aren't any in there, but just the, the 
make of this saddle. This is where it should be sitting, and it's going to be sitting way too uphill for this particular horse. So again, we can drive a truck right here under that pommel. <laughs> We've got lots of clearance there, so um, with the other saddle there was not enough clearance. This one we've got too much. It's just going to put the rider in a in a weird position up there, rock her back too much, and eventually create too much pressure on the loin. When we have a so his previous saddles have caused too much pressure behind the shoulders. This would create the opposite problem. This horse is going to be really sore in the loin if we were to ride with this particular saddle. You can see the rider seat bones are going to be sitting right here where this the end of the saddle is going to be concentrating all the pressure right there. So this is saddle number three. Well, it's probably more like saddle 300. <laughs> it's a three out of this particular group. So again, we threw it up there without the pad. Already I like the way that this saddle is sitting on the horse nice and level. You can see that it doesn't have any rock. We've got good connection across the end of the bars, which on a Western saddle are generally gonna be right where these conchos are. They attach the leather to the bars with these conchos. That's why they're there. So I've got one hand there under that concho. One hand here under this concho, we've got good connection on both sides. So we don't have any rock or severe presser points. We do, it is sitting just on the top of his withers, but I can get my hand under there. So this is where, um, with good pressure here, just adding a pad is gonna lift it up far enough that we should be able to clear those withers without any trouble. So I'm not as concerned there, and it's not riding on the withers, it's just nice and close. So I think this is the one that we should try on him. The one thing I don't like about this saddle for this horse is that it's really close to his hip. So uh, for cow dressage and what we do with our horses where we're asking them to bend through their body and to bring this hip forward, they shorten through the, through the rib cage and with flexion of these hip joints, they, they can actually run into the edge of this saddle. So my personal preference would be if this saddle maybe ended here instead of here. But that's a minor thing I think for this horse right now. And if we can get his loin elevated and get him collected a little bit, I think we'll be okay with him not running into this too badly. So I think what we'll do is throw a pad under this saddle and take a look and see how it looks with a pad on it. Now we've got Leah up in the saddle on Scotty. This is the neoprene um, memory foam pad and the saddle that we had decided fits him the best out of the ones that we were trying. With her in the saddle, this memory foam pad has kind of sunken down onto the withers. Hey everybody. Thanks for riding with us in the Green Hornet today. This is Doc Jenny signing out. If you like what you saw, be sure and follow us in the Green Hornet with Tormund out on the road with Doc Jenny. Just click the link below and follow us along on our journeys. See you later.